Hello again, Craig here with the PrepperStop.com. We're going to talk this time about dosimeters. What is a dosimeter? Hardly anybody knows because they never show them properly in the movies. They don't even show them at all in the movies or TV. But it's actually more important than the survey meters. On another video we talked about survey meters and Geiger counters. Let's talk about dosimeters. Dosimeters. This is a dosimeter. Some people call them dosimeter pens. They're not pens. They don't make any noise, but they measure radiation. They measure gamma radiation. Only gamma. Um, so what is a dosimeter? Basically, a dosimeter, actually more, more important than the survey meters, they would, they would take a reading with a survey meter, and when the levels got low enough, they'd allow people to go outside, but they'd issue everybody one of these. And the instructions would be, I want you back here before this reads 30 or 50. What do I mean by that? Well, basically, you look through it, you point it at a light, and you can see an image in there. You can see the scale. I'm going to try this. It's not going to work too well on this camera, but we're going to give it a little try here. We're going to try to let you see what it looks like inside here. If I can get this to work properly, you'll see that there's a scale, and that's not going to work. Okay, it's not going to work. Uh, but basically, it's very easy to see. If you hold up the light and look through it, you see a scale in there. It measures in Rentkins, and that needle moves up, but it doesn't move back down. So it tells an accumulated dose over time. It's called a pocket dosimeter. They never show it in the movies, that's why you don't know what it is. It's, still, it's used in industry. You might use, have, use them for x-ray technicians, or welders might have to use them dealing with x-rays. Uh, power plant workers, of course, nuclear power plant workers. Uh, some people in the industry still use this type of thing. But it's actually the most important thing on the table because it tells you your total dose of what you're getting, of what you've got, rather. Uh, so they would be instructed, you know, they, they find out when it got low enough, they say, okay, it's safe to go outside. You wear this in your pocket because gamma grays go right through your body, right through walls. You don't have to point it at a radiation source to make it read. Because you're wearing it, gamma rays go right through your body. When you're exposed, this gets exposed. And the instructions would be, I want you back here before that reads 30 or 50. So they wear it in their pocket. They'd go outside the shelter. They'd keep looking. And when it got to be up, say, maybe 20 or 25, they'd say, oh, we better get back. It's starting to get hot. We better get back to the shelter. So you can get a safe amount of radiation without getting damaged, your body damaged or even die. So that's the basics of a dosimeter. Now, since they don't go back down on their own, they have to be reset. They can be reset by boxes that look generally like this. There's other designs, too. This is another design. I'll show how that works on another video. But basically, this allows you to reset the dosimeter back to zero so it can be used over and over again. So they are reusable as long as you have a charger. They don't work on their own. Even though this might be a zero right now, a year from now or ten years from now, it might not be a zero anymore. So you have to be able to reset it to be able to use it. So I think that concludes our, our brief discussion about dosimeters for now. Thanks everybody for watching. My name is Craig from the prepperstop.com or forbiddenknowledge.info. Thanks you.